In this video, I will show you how to customize Origins File Import Menu. Let's look at the menu by choosing File, Import. Origins supports ASCII, binary, and many third-party file formats. The list is long, and all files listed may not be applicable to you. So we provide a Customize option that allows you to add or remove file types from the menu. The left panel of the dialog lists all file types supported by Origin. The ones that are grayed out have already been included on the file menu, and they appear on the right-hand side of the dialog. We're going to go ahead and remove all the third-party file formats. We make that selection and then click on the left arrow. We're now going to go ahead and add PClamp a third-party file format back. We're going to use the arrows to move it down to the bottom and then we're going to add a separator so that it's in its own group. Once we've customized this menu we don't need to show that customize option so I'm going to uncheck that. However, the reminder message tells you you can always go to the tools menu to get back to this import customization dialog. We can go back to File Import and take a look at our custom import options. Now I'm going to select the Tools menu and open the Import Filters Manager dialog and click the Customize Menu button, which brings back the dialog where I can enable the Customize option from the File Import menu, as we see here. Now I'm going to import a pclamp file, so I choose File, Import, pclamp. I select the file, click OK. The Options dialog opens. I'm going to specify some partial import settings, modifying the start time. And now, because I want to reuse these settings, I'm going to save a dialog theme. I enter some theme name, click OK to save the theme, click OK to do our import. Now we can verify that the theme settings were used by looking at our sampling interval where the X value starts at 2. Now how do we go ahead and reuse our theme? Well, one option is the recent imports. We see it listed here. However, of course, this menu can change. But if we go up to Import and choose pclamp, we can select a file. The Options dialog is always going to open to the default settings, but right here you can load in your theme. And now when we click OK, our file is imported with those settings. But a better option yet would be to customize our menu, our import menu. Here we can choose User Themes, where we can choose our pclamp theme, and we can move that over into our pclamp import group. So now when I click on File Import, I have my import theme. So I'm going to use that, select a file, Notice that the Options dialog there is already assigned to the theme, which means I don't even have to see that. The file is brought in using those theme settings, which I can verify here. Now if we go back and choose File Import and choose Customize again, if we want to get back to the default settings, I can click the Reset button here. Click OK, and now if I look at the File Import menu, it's back to where we started from. This concludes this presentation. Thank you for watching.